Alright, it's time to continue on stopping these uh, galactic uh, grunts from doing what they're doing. Setting out the galactic bomb. See what this? Yeah, I'm investigating the explosion. Really interesting now. Oh, thank you for saying that. Revealing your plans for me. Let's go into this cave here, Velour Cavern. And there's actually a battle in here. A guy. Mission is proceeding without the hitch. The boss should be placed. Everything is for everyone and for the good of Team Galactic! Recognize your face, or I shall already the team collective building in Eterna. Yes, that was me. You better should be ashamed of yourself being beaten by a kid, but anything and anyone that opposes the team collective must be crushed. Yeah, the third commander, Commander Saturn, wants to fight. First battle with Saturn, and he starts off with a gold bat, which is in level 38 and is poison flying type. As you all pre as you all know. And uh let's see, I'll go for a fire blast just because fire blast is powerful and will do a lot of damage to gold bat, hopefully. Yeah burn! No confusion! To be gold bat, trying to get that confusion hack. It would be really bad if he had, uh, if he could get a parax on me. Yes, I'm able to hit through the, uh, through the uh, confusion. And we get some experience. Next up is this Toxicroak, which is is his main Pokemon, level 40, Poison Fighting type. And, uh... Yeah. Toxicroak is pre pretty powerful, it has high attack stat, but it has low defense, and as you all know, pro that those of you that have seen Super Scarmory's video, this is the Frog of Ultimate Evil! Ah, uh, hope that's not copyrighted. <laughs> oh, he takes me down. That's not good. That's not good at all. But let's bring in Terminator because Terminator can handle Toxic Road pre pretty easily, I think. I mean, it is Terminator, and Terminator is made to terminate things. But it has been attacked. Wow, that actually hurt. But I have Shockwave, and that will hopefully hurt that. Uh, Toxic croak, croak too. Uh, I didn't do as much as I hoped. Well, let's switch because I'm pretty sure that the the faint attack is coming. So I'm going to switch into bullet because bullet has wing attack and that's super effective and the faint attack came. But it doesn't do anything at all to bullet because of the resistance. And I'm faster, which is a surprise surprised me. Because Bullet isn't that uh, fast, really. E even though his name is Bullet. But Terminator grew to level 37. Good job, Terminator! Next up is his Bronzor. I could swear he had a Kadabra back in Diamond and Pearl. But now he has a Bronzor, which is uh, pretty, pretty annoying because Bronzong has high defense and special defense, so it's really hard to take down. But a good fire move should uh, put it on, on its place. An overeat should put it on its place. Because overeat is extremely powerful. Ah, and it almost takes it out. And I think all the brown swords in this game has the levitate ability. Ah, Shadow Ball, that's super effective. But it does only 18 damage. And I will go for another. Oh, oh no, I'm not over it. I'll go for Omni Swing just because I can. 
I don't want to overeat anything, and of course I get a stat race when I don't need it. That's just my luck. So now I defeated Commander Saturn. You, my friend, the top. I can't see why you. Yeah. Okay. Only managed to buy us time, but that's fine. Shall be. Relating the Pokemon of the Lake to power will create an entirely new universe. Whoa, that doesn't sound good. Seems that Lucas and the uh, Rowan are in trouble. So now we'll have to go back to Lake Verity. Where we first start off our adventure, or that was like back in Diamond and Pearl, but oh well, don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe, and peace out. <laughs>